Hello. Hey, good morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lovely how the lines came out. So that's just turning the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. And do you have any of the cutouts that you did earlier? Cutouts? Oh, these ones. Yes. So that's what it starts off with after you've, um, oh, and you've numbered them. So 21. Uh, that's just a uh, radius. Ah. Uh, on the band saw. Oh. Look at those. And you're going to get three bowls when you do the scoopy part. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> That's fantastic. And look at this floor. I love this. Yeah. Do you use this for starting your fires? Um, no, usually in the garden for... Garden mulching. Parts. Garden mulching. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's called a face plate. This is the face plate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you've screwed it in. And so you're going to do a whole bunch of these. So you did those the other day after yeah, you came yeah. from us. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. You have been busy. They are some gorgeous um, uh, colorings in them. I mean, beautiful abstract paintings. Looking gorgeous. Yeah, it's almost like some of them are perfect uh, copies of each other, like this guy and this guy. Isn't that amazing how alike they are? Well, they might have been close yeah, to yeah. each other in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> grown like that yeah so the tree would have grown up the way so yeah. the lines could match yeah. could match <laughs> yeah. but uh, i can't remember where each yeah. one came from no 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 you know you know which tree and that's as far as yeah. it goes yeah. so wow and the out here these are the these are the wonderful rounds that you you did the um, carving, you carved the rounds out of these. Yeah. These are almost like picture frames. What do you do with these? Uh, they're probably going to be firewood unless there's, you know, any bits that are worth saving. But I think most of them are just. Yeah, there's no real material. <laughs> there's no material. So you can't do spoons on the edges or anything? Not really. No, well, maybe, it's good. Maybe this bit along here. Well, it's almost like I was going to say, oh, I'd love that one to have a, a, a plant, do planters, like those bottom two yeah. you could plant stuff in. Yeah. Well, you can take them away and see what you Oh, well, maybe I'll experiment, take a couple of those away. But that's, yeah, so that's firewood. Beautiful firewood. But it'll keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little sliding table I built. Oh, wow. And I'll show you how that works. Okay. Excellent. So, so those are one of the plates. Yeah, careful that doesn't fall over. Radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, very wobbly. Yeah. Well, that's particularly wobbly because it's all the bowls. Yeah. Okay. So I drew a circle on it, marked the center. Yeah. Drilled a little hole there and that'll fit on top of this. That screw. nail. Yeah. Screw, sorry. Yeah. So actually, that's uh, that's why I marked the numbers on them because I know this is a twenty-one radius. Okay. So I'll put the screw at twenty-one. Oh, with the relative. Yeah. So you've got um, adjustments. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. That's tippy. Do you see the line of screws he has? Yeah. Here, do you want to stand there and not touch that? And then you flip it over. Ah. Now yeah, I should move those. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. We, we will adjust ourselves. 
Oh, that's beautiful. So now I'll feed it into the blade and start turning it because it'll rotate around the screw. Uh, oh, of course, the screw is your apparatus, your rotation apparatus. Yes, hello. Now don't tip those bowls down. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you lovely dog. I know, I smell delicious of sheep and dogs and cats and horses and alpaca and chickens. Okay, that's, that's, that is. <laughs> this one's still Instable. Okay, now we'll, we'll stand back here to watch you perform your roundness. Excellent. Big noise. And there's the round. That's ingenious that it was only just a, um, a screw yeah. in the middle. Yeah. And you adjust it to the sliding size table. and the sliding table. Absolutely perfect. Excellent. I love the toss of bowls amongst the shavings. That's such a beautiful photograph. Yeah, this one is <laughs> such is Isn't terrific. that so beautiful? Yeah. The stripes yeah. on that yeah. is gorgeous. And then the next stage is one of the, no, that's already bold. So one of these, what is the next stage you do for that one, for example? Um, well, I'm going to put the face plate back on to one of these. Okay. Yeah, put it on the lid. And then start chiseling. Start chiseling. Okay. Do you want to go that way? They're all different sizes. It's wonderful. And you put the plastic over them to keep them moist. Is that what's uh, yeah, before you put them in the um, yeah. kiln? Yeah. So th that the intent is not to keep them clean, but to keep uh, the moisture. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. As you know, like on a hot day, the wood will start to crack. Yuck! Yeah, yeah. and you don't want that. No, because then it's all ruined. <laughs> no, we don't want to ruin our wood. So you've centered on the hole that you made yeah. for over there on here. Oh, very good. And that's just screwing into the faceplate. Yeah. Oh, very good. And the flat edge is of no concern because you're going to be carving that off, right? This flat edge. This bit, yeah, because yeah, you know, it'll be it, right. in the the curve of the bowl. Because it has to get up speed? No, no, just for me to do it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's okay. Glove. <gasps> Good point. Okay, I'll edit that part out. I only wear gloves when I'm doing this rough turning because I'm 
chips are coming off really fast and I'm already after wearing a hole. Oh, wow, <laughs> look at that. Thumb. So you're going to need a new pair of gloves. They all hit my thumb. Oh, so you've got a tough thumb. That rhythm is because of the flat bit, the uh, bump, bump, bump. Yeah, also because the, like when I was sawing it, I didn't cut it like completely straight, like, straight. So like it's a bit uneven. Oh yeah, you can see rolling like yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm just making a cut here, and as it goes around, it'll. I'm not even. I haven't gotten to that yet. You haven't even gotten to that yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> taking off the high part. Ah, okay. I just have to remove right. the material really quick. Yeah. So you put it in a mini vise. Yeah. It's a little oh, a look. A sharpening system. <gasps> ah, so you don't have a whetstone? No. Ah. This is a diamond wheel. Ooh. get the exact same yeah grind every time yeah terrific yeah. that's beautiful Lee done and here you can see I guess just the beginnings of where you're shaping okay but it's really neat seeing how the pattern is coming through there yes right there yeah, yeah. of the um, sp spalding. I was about to call spelting spelting <laughs> is a flower spalding Spalting. Yeah. It is causing a bit of difficulty. Uh oh. Because there's a different consistency to the rest yeah. of the wood. So you're jumping on it a so, bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm also jumping because it's a bit uneven. Yeah. <laughs> but the knot is really not helping. But is, that knot isn't very big, so it'll it's going to no. disappear, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to, um, that will pretty yeah, much be gone. Well, it depends on the depth of it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it comes through. through. Yeah. It's not up here. Yeah. So. It's probably, uh, that's, I mean, there's one branch and that was a twig coming out. Not really a twig. <laughs> yeah, it'll be gone. It'll be gone.
What's happening there? Is it pulpy? Yeah. So it's a pulpy knot. Yeah, might be a problem. Uh-oh. Depends on how deep it is. And well, hopefully it's not very deep. And is this that the shade here may be a problem here? Come back a bit there. No, no that's okay. Good. When it's white, it's a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, but this one doesn't have any of the white bits. Like that. You can see the way this bit Oh, this, is. Yeah. yeah. That can be very soft. That can be pulpy, okay. Yeah. So this might be end up being a smaller bowl, depending yeah. how deep yeah. that goes in. And is it just easier digging it out like that than... Well, I'm just kind of seeing how far it oh, goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> An exploration. Yeah. It's like a dentist yeah. digging into a cavity. It's about that deep. Oh. That's kind of deep. So maybe the, the whole... This side of the bowl has to come away or something. <gasps> So that might it's be okay. a bowl it's that still, spoons. You know, you know, still don't yeah, know. a chunk of bowl. Yeah. You can feel the moisture getting flung <laughs> from the. Here. Oh wow! You can, and that's from that. You can see it on my hand too. And that's from that um, hole, the, so. the moisture. Wow, that is fascinating. Problem bowl. Not sure whether to continue. Uh, I'm not surprised. It might be a bit of timber for spoons. I think what I'll do is do another one. Try another one. Yes. Now I'm going to have to ask you a question because I'm sure everybody's going to ask it. Yeah. Your bat. Oh, uh, Why do you have a bat tattoo? Uh, I was 18. Yeah. And I was on my way to an Iron Maiden concert. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you felt the... And well. it was your birthday. Uh, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just decided to tattoo a bat. Yeah. What's well, a nice tattoo. Is it? Yeah, no, I think it's a very simple, nice but tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense anyway. I was, I was 18 and stupid. Well, so, you know, we were all 18 and stupid once. But at least you weren't that stupid. It's kind of a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to flatten off the bottom Ooh, a little bit. Okay. And then 
I have to make a I need to make a tenon on the bottom here. Okay, what's a tenon? Maybe I'll, I'll just I'll show you. When yeah, you done. show me when you get there. Yeah, about what a tenon is. Yeah. So this is a bottom flattening. Uh, uh, Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. Ah, okay. So it's kind okay. of like a foot. Yeah. A bowl foot. And it's something I can grab with the jaws. Ah, oh, yeah. yes, of course. There's these open and close. Ah, to, so depending on the there. size you want. And then they yeah. close. Got it. And then I can put this so I can do the other side of the bowl. Uh, the inside of the bowl? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you need to be able to hold it somehow. Yes, very true. On the machine. Yeah. Very good point. But that's for, you're only doing this side of the bowl today, though. Yeah. This side you're doing on next day. Yeah, a few days. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> yes. If okay. I can get through the rest of it, this. All of this, yeah. No, loads to get through. And look, the bowls have been buried under the sawdust. No, very good. So what are the lads you have up there? Uh, they've been through my kiln. Yeah. And they're dry, ready to be finished. So okay, so that's the next stage, well beyond this. Yeah. So that's. So it's like a dry yeah. bowl. You can see the way it's gone oval. Yes. It's longer this way than that way. Yeah. That's the drying process. Oh, uh, right. okay. God, you got a lovely pattern in this one too. And what tree is this? What kind of That's tree is that? A beech tree. Another beech. Yeah. So with a different do, doesn't have the spalting in it so much. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Similar. It's got a good weight to it too. Yeah. And are those? I mean, do you find that these sell better, or the spalting ones sell, or it doesn't? Makes no. Never mind. Um, yeah, it's all personal choice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this has to be put back onto the lathe. Uh, and refined. Yeah. Yeah. A kind of refined to get the oval shape out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then sanded. And yes. And oiled. And oiled. <laughs> In this one. Oh no! That's okay. I'm oh, is it? Just gonna bring the whole thing down a bit. Okay. Until about here, and to then remake the, the tenant. And remake the tenant. But it's got a beautiful spelted pattern in it. Look at that. Mm. That's gorgeous. So that's marking where you have to come down to. Yeah. Gotcha.
So is the crack gone? Yep. Excellent. Gorgeous. Much smoother at ed edging. For the exterior, for the outside of the big bowl. Yeah. And then the scoopy doop part happens after you've done all the others, so in the next day or so. That's fantastic. And you still have loads of rounds to go. You can see the moisture coming out. Yeah. So I totally understand keeping them covered in plastic so the moisture doesn't go too fast before you put them in the uh, kiln. Look at these. Gorgeous.